everybody, Liz and Annie here again. Annie, I have some more pressing questions for you to help me make sure I teach more effectively in Canvas the next time I have a class hosted in that platform. So in one of the recent quarters that I was teaching, I finished the term, we ended week 10, we had the final, all the grades were in, the TAs and I were still grading stuff and finalizing stuff and posting it so the students could see how they ended up doing in the course on Canvas. And then I started getting all these emails after week 10, but before spring break, that were essentially from students saying the course had disappeared, they could no longer access it, they couldn't see their final exam grade or their last couple of assignments, they couldn't see their overall grade in the course because they couldn't navigate to it anymore. Do you know why that happened and how I can prevent that kind of situation in the future? Yes, absolutely. I do know why, and I can offer some solutions to prevent that from happening in the future. So let's go to our Canvas Sandbox page, as always. And um, for this particular topic, you have to go down into the course settings, because this is an entire course availability issue of when students can access it, um, and it's bound by certain dates. And so to find what those dates are, you go down here into the settings, click on that, and then scroll to about, you know, midway through the page, and you'll see this little section called participation in that course. And you'll see course participation is limited to course start and end dates. And so you'll see when there's a start date, that's when students can first access the course, regardless of when you publish it. So even if you publish it before this date, like March 30th, for example, students won't be able to access it until the 31st. And then same thing for the end date, which is the same day for this particular test course, but students will not be able to access the course again after that date at that particular time has passed, even if you already published it. So what probably happened in your case is the course end date was set to the end of week 10, but not finals week or midway through finals week or something when students still wanted to access it. And so it suddenly seemed like it disappeared uh, on their end. So to fix that, in the past, we faculty instructors, we were able to go into our Canvas courses and actually edit and change this date so that we could have it be available and end as early and as late as we wanted. But recently that um, capability has been grayed out, like we can't do that anymore ourselves. And so the current fix for that is to email uh, someone at Excite and ask them, uh, to extend the course ending date for the students as long as you give them relevant course info, like the course ID number and when you want the course to be extended until. Um, hopefully we get that capability back soon so we don't have to bother Excite for that. But in the meantime, make sure that when you're setting up your class, you go into your settings and take a look at these start and end dates to make sure that they encompass you know, when you want your students to have access and it doesn't end too early. Otherwise, send that email to the Excite team for help with that. All right, that makes a ton of sense. I'm glad to know how I can do that in the future. Thank you. You're welcome.